I've been studying too much today. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to see if Dr. Amano wants something to eat. Hi, Dr. Romano. While I'm starting Hi. to get hungry, I'm going to go get something to eat. Can I bring you back something? You look very well fed. Why don't we come over here and take a look at a question that I'm doing for my dad's study group on chemical equilibrium. Okay, Dr. Romano, but I was going to go get a salad. What we're going to do is, it says consider the below equilibrium. And I give you a reaction, and I want to know, how can we drive this reaction forward? Meaning, towards the product. And the heat of a reaction is 35 joules that's negative, meaning the reaction is exothermic. Now, the first thing that you're going to do in any type of question you get on the data on equilibrium is to read for the equation. So let's do it. So I'm going to get 2A, and it's a gas, plus 3B, it's a gas, gives 4C, and a gas, and it's exothermic because it's negative, so that means the heat is on the right side of the equation, because heat is given off. The next thing that I do is I count up all the gas molecules, or for moles. So you have two moles of A, and three moles of B gives you five moles. Now if you remember, PV equals NRT, so that means moles is proportional to volume. So instead of saying that two plus three or five moles, I can say there's five volumes of gas. So I'm going to write five volumes on this side. And this side of the equation, there's four volumes. Okay, let's go over the first one. First thing I can do to drive the reaction forward is to use what's called the Le Chatelier's principle, which simply states that if a system is in equilibrium and a stress is placed on the system, the system will move in such a way as to undo the stress. So I can increase the amount of A. If you increase A, it's going to undo the stress and move to the, to the right side. Or, likewise, I can increase the amount of B. So if you increase A or B, it wants to undo the stress and it moves to the right, and therefore I can make more C. Likewise, I can decrease the amount of C. If you decrease C, for instance, if this is removed, the system wants to replenish what's been lost. Just like if you lose blood, the body wants to make more blood. So what I can do is increase A, increase B, and decrease C would be always based on Le Chatelier's principle. Now, number four. I want to move to the right side. I want to move to low volume. Now, if you remember from the gas laws, Boyle's law says that pressure and volume vary indirectly. So if you want to move towards a lower volume, what would you do? You would increase the pressure. So by increasing the pressure, that would make the volume smaller, and it would move to the smaller side. Likewise, I could just say, since I want to go to the lower volume side, I can just simply say, decrease the volume of the container. If you decrease the volume of the container, that would be the same thing as saying you're increasing the pressure. Now, the final one. Here's a nice little trick that I love to show my students. How do you do temperature? The first thing you do is you go to the side that you have the heat and you draw this little man. Everyone remembers from the destroyer this little man. His name is Homer. Now, here's the rule. If you increase the temperature, this little man named Homer gets burnt and he runs away. So as you can see, if you increase the temperature, the little man runs away and the reaction would shift to the left. If you decrease the temperature, the little man stays where he is and he's frozen solid. So since we want to drive the reaction to the right, we want to keep the reaction on the right side. So therefore, what would I do? I would decrease the temperature. Because if you increase the temperature, little Homer would move to the left. But you want to stay to the right, so instead of increasing temperature, we work nice and cold. So there you have it. We can increase A or B, decrease C. We can increase pressure, decrease the volume of the container, or decrease the temperature. These would be six things that I can do to favor product formation. And if I put a part B on this, and I simply ask you, what would change the value of an equilibrium constant? Never forget. 
temperature. Temperature will favor a reaction. In this case, temperature actually increasing it would hurt me. Decreasing it would um, move the reaction to the right, but it would change the equilibrium constant. It's always a question that you want to be careful of on exams. So equilibrium constant is changed only by temperature. I hope this helps. I have a lot of questions on chemical equilibrium in the destroyer. And this one little mini lecture, you'll be able to know how to do anything on chemical equilibrium. Thank you, Dr. Romano. I really like that example you gave with Homer there. Very clever. Well, I'm glad. Little Homer is beloved in my group. And with that, I will say good day to you. Make sure you go over all the work and you'll be seeing little Homer. He's in the destroyer. Okay, good day to you, sir. I bring you a salad if you like. Good day.